It's been a crazy day which began yesterday night at midnight when I saw the news that government has abolished windfall tax. At that time, I immediately put some orders to be executed at 9.15 early in the morning for some of the stocks that I thought would benefit. The story started well but did not end that well and we'll talk about it in the episode. But before we start, a good news. Friends of Wealth, there are 200 videos which have been released on the channel as of yesterday. This is number 201. Now, out of nowhere, there was a huge fall in IT stocks. TCS, Infosys, HCL, they all fell in excess of 3%. Literally without any trigger, there was a small one that Accenture is not going to promote people. That is a tactic used by IT companies to reduce the staff. Some people will leave and then they will announce the promotion. That's okay. Happens every year. So what led to this fall? We'll talk about that in the nugget section today, including trying to figure out what will happen tomorrow and day after. Remember, tomorrow is the weekly expiry for Nifty. Today was the bank Nifty expiry. And while I had no idea about the foreign IT, I did have a bad feeling in the beginning of the day today. I tweeted about it. Don't think bank Nifty expiry will be without any twist today. 12.30 is when I had forecasted that the fun will begin. This was the fall in Nifty, roughly around 12.40, not 12.30. Now the biggest news today which came around 5 o'clock, the cabinet has approved nearly 25,000 crore worth of subsidy. The government is firmly now in the election mode. Now all this is okay, the problem is this news had already leaked out. The fertilizer stocks had already rallied 8, 9, 10% earlier in the day. And I'm not sure if this particular subject comes under insider trading from SEBI's perspective because the cabinet is involved. No surprises. The bottom layer today is all IT. The top layer is completely LNT and Nestle are probably the only exceptions. Look at the chart today. Literally the sectors in the middle, nothing mattered. Banking at the top, IT at the bottom. Oil and gas started really, really well. Look at Reliance. It opened in the green, went up 20, 30 points, looked all set for breaching 3000 today. And then oil and gas fell because of the negative sentiment created by IT because market suddenly fell in a heap. Nifty's graph was a lot different than Reliance. It continued the rally for some time. That's because banking was doing pretty well. ICICI was doing pretty well. Today I've added one more graph which shows the sectors which are trending or doing the best. This is based upon today plus two week performance before today. Banking has done best in the last 11 days followed by renewable energy, chemicals, Pharma, investment banking, oil and gas is right at the bottom followed by auto. These are yellow lines which means these are in the top 5 sectors by market cap. The third one is aerospace and defense followed by coal which is predominantly coal India. Let me now talk about oil and gas. Today I bought a lot of stocks of Reliance very early in the day. And I was feeling really happy when Reliance was going up at this point of time. So I had bought some option lots also of Reliance. And then I went for coffee. And then when I returned, the money was gone. And then it kept getting worse only. Overall ended the day with loss because I started here and the day ended here. About 20 points lower for Reliance. MRPL also I bought some stocks. Despite the fall, it closed 2% up. You can think what would have happened if this bad fall had not come around. My expectation was MRPL will close with at least 10% gains today. Now, one interesting bit is Nifty just before the fall made an all-time high and then came the severe fall. Bank Nifty today was almost immune to what was happening outside it, kept going up and then consolidated. Mostly this was thanks to ICICI Bank which made another all-time high and then consolidated, did not blink eyes at all throughout the day. Same with HDFC Bank went up and then consolidated. Look at the bull run in Bank Nifty 5 straight days. In fact, in the last 8 days, Bank Nifty has been up for 7 days. Now, while this fall was steep, the trading range for Nifty was not much. Same 0.8% kinds. Only problem was that the market was doing so well that most traders were caught completely off guard at this point. Especially because the fall was led by IT. And I even thought that today positions will be taken with respect to the US event later today, which is the Fed announcing the rate cuts and IT banking were supposed to be the beneficiary. Nifty did attempt to come back a little, but in the end, there was a 100 point gap between the highest point of the day and the closing point. Bank Nifty, no such issues, went up slight correction, then consolidated. The trading range was 1.5%, but there was no volatility as such. 
IT is looking a really ugly graph because of which the other graphs are minuscule in size. Energy down, this is primarily because of the oil pack cracking. Mid caps did not do much 0.4% down, same with auto. FII is bought and I'll cover that in the nugget section. DIIs bought a very little amount. Sixth straight day for FIIs, third straight day for DIIs for the buying. Now a bunch of QIPs is heading towards India, which means a lot of dollars will come in. RBI will claim them as India's dollar reserves, which is effectively not true. These are IOUs. This money needs to go out with interest. Even government companies like IREDA, they are planning to raise money from QIP, where it is getting more and more difficult to raise cheap money in India these days. Nothing much in this graph. Two tall red towers, TCS and Infosys. Two big green towers, HDFC and ICICI. LNT continues the good run, three straight days. ATL ICICI both again made lifetime highs. One landmark which came today was ICICI bank hit, 9 lakh crore market cap. Bitcoin did cross 60,000 but it is back in the red right now. US markets have opened slightly in the green. This is yesterday's data but it will all depend upon the final number given by the Fed chair. Anything less than 0.5% rate cut will be decimated. Markets will crack severely. Whatever may be the announcement, some of the biggest investors including Ray Dalio, they have downplayed. Doesn't matter, they have said it's insignificant movement. After George Soros, probably Ray Dalio is the most pessimist for the US market right now among the big people in the US markets. Sun Pharma managed to get ahead of Wipro, otherwise the bottom pack today was completely dominated by IT. 30 stocks down, 20 up in Nifty. The top was reserved for banking pack, HDFC, Bajaj Finance, ICICI, SBI, Bajaj Finserve and Shriram Finance. Now suddenly we are seeing auto players at the bottom. In next 50, 39 stocks down, 11 up. The winners today were Madarsan Sumi, Bajaj Holdings. We saw Bajaj Finance and FinCare in the top 5 in Nifty. This is the grandparent, Power Finance, Zomato, ICIC Lombard. Remember Power Finance was in the bottom yesterday. The Lagards, IRCTC, Zydas, Torrent, Jindal Steel, Pidilites. ATL made another lifetime high today. And immediately after making the lifetime high, ATL came crashing down. At this point, it seemed that ATL is attempting 1700 today. LNT was in a very good mood, however that came down with the market. It is still about 200 points away from its 52 week high. Bank Nifty, only Kotak, Mahindra and Bank of Padoda were down a bit. Otherwise, HDFC, ICICI, SBI, Axis, PNB, Indusind, Bajaj Finance, PFC. Everyone was in a good mood. IFC, of course, is down every day. HDFC, despite the good run today, is still away from the 52 week high. The high is 1794. It closed at 1694, exactly 100 points to go. IT was weak from the very beginning of the day and we'll talk more about in the nugget section. Opened lower than yesterday's close for all stocks. Defense had no defense, everything fell. The cut was deepest for Cochin Shipyard down 2%. Metal also Hindustan Copper usually shows a run up towards the end. Besides that, all stocks were down but no major cuts. That's one good thing today. Besides IT stocks, there was no big fall anywhere. Now today, consumption dashboard has grown significantly. That is because I have added Nestle, which is here. You will also notice today I have added market cap. So Nestle's market cap is two and a half lakh crore. Towards the end, I have added the alcohol stocks also. Radico and Associate Alcohol, they made new lifetime highs today. I think this is the fourth or fifth straight day of Page Industries hitting a lifetime high. PSC was a rocket today also continuously up 17% for the day. And I'm not sure if SEBI will issue a show cause to BSC because there is no reason given. There is no news published. Yet the stock has run up 40%. This is a stock exchange. CDSL, KFintech were up as well. So was CAMS, but that was very small. While the energy pack including power and oil stocks were cracking, Torrent Pharma was up 8.5%, MRPL up 2%. Besides that, both sectors were actually very weak and they were all green till about 12 o'clock. The volumes were low only which is a good sign, no desperate selling. Consumption pack was doing okay. BKG Foods has been celebrating the GST cut in Bhujia for a significant time now. That too on high volumes. I'm not sure how much extra Bhujia they will sell this year because of the GST cut. Market bad wise, only 8 sectors were up. Aerospace and defense in deep reds. Automobile Madhasan Sumi was up, but nearly all top stocks were down. Banking all green. 
I expected chemicals to do really well because of the reduction in windfall tax. However, that came under profit booking because of the sell-off. LNT was up. As a result, construction engineering did well. Cement down. Rent for a change was down 1%. Profit booking. Insurance did well today. LIC was down a bit, but all other players were up. Investment banking was led by BSC, C of Greens. Heavy machinery was down, though CG power was up. Deep cut in metal. Good sized profit booking was seen in pharma. Kalyan jewelers came under profit booking. So did Titan and Page Industries. Minor cuts in telecom. So I bought associated alcohol some more today after yesterday's coverage. I was myself happy after the analysis I did yesterday. MRPL I bought to average down the severe losses I have. I thought of booking intraday profit and maybe settle some of the loss and offset them. But that didn't work out. I bought a lot of stocks of Reliance. I hope it does well tomorrow because I don't intend to keep it for long term. Nothing sold so it was an investment day. Today's nugget is about what is happening in the IT sector. Trying to dissect the fall today and what is likely tomorrow day after. First of all, the trend for software and IT services last 10-11 days has not been that great. Just 4 green days out of 11. I showed you the graph earlier also. TCS, Infosys both opened with a gap down. Which means IT was already weak at the beginning of the day. Now what I'll discuss in the next few minutes is what you can call a conspiracy theory but the data is backing it. My understanding is FIs are expecting NASDAQ to celebrate the rate cut later in the day and that will reflect in the IT stocks tomorrow. My analysis is they tried to take the IT stocks up a bit. They sold some put options that didn't work out. They started selling stocks in cash market, the IT stocks which brought most stocks down by 4 to 5%. Then came a period of very low interest where people were convinced that IT stocks will not recover. And in this period, they bought heavy call options and that data is also reflecting in the PCR ratio less than 0.5 for both TCS and Infosys. I'll take you to the live chart and also demonstrate how I read it. So these shades are the increase in the open interest for call options. So this is TCS. The way I read it is that TCS now is heading towards 4500. It is at 4350 right now. That's 150 points, nearly 4%. This is for the series that expires next week. I don't see too much hedges, however. So it could happen in next one or two days. Otherwise, there will be a lot of decay and large players will not take that for sure. This open interest has been added today. The second biggest candle is even away at 4600. Now this will of course change rapidly as the positions close out. Now let me show you some data the way it happened in the day. This is what happened till 10 a.m. See the build up. Let's now go to 12 o'clock which was before the fall. Now let's go to 1 o'clock, 130. So the red bars here are increasing continuously which means the call open interest is continuously increasing but there is no shorting happening as such the put open interest is remaining same let's go to end of the day let's check hcl tech 945 so put open interest decreased for 1780 levels but increased for 1740 that is the shorting happening see the red bars growing now 1800 level one i've seen similar pattern for all of the top stocks now I'll not recommend taking a trade based upon this analysis but my understanding is some big institutions sold the IT stocks in cash market that brought the stock prices crashing down by 4-5% to 5 for most stocks. That is where they covered their shorts in the options market buying call options. It seems they bought naked call options which means there is no cover and that means they will settle probably tomorrow or day after. Now my theory is if Nasdaq is in party mood even up 1-1.5-2% then Indian markets will join the party tomorrow, IT stocks will go up, retail will buy which sold today perhaps, seeing the undervalue in the IT stocks which have already fallen. That is the background I gave when I showed you the trend for last 10-11 days. That is when the call options will be squared off, the open interest will settle down and then people will be ready for next week's expiry also because we'll have to otherwise prepare ourselves for delivery in the next week starting Monday. Hope this analysis was useful. Take your own decisions. This video was only for educational purpose. Tomorrow's video might be delayed a bit because I have to step out. But I'll try and release as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.